Experts have warned that the two confirmed cases of MPOX in Zimbabwe must be taken seriously to avoid possible future implications that may affect the country. This comes at a time when travelers from the DRC and other countries with more infections are facing challenges moving into certain parts of the world. And if the cases increase globally, global health authorities may come up with compulsory measures that can affect economies of countries most affected, as was seen during COVID-19. Mayor Ryan Singer gives us more in the following report. Experts have warned Zimbabwe must do its level best to ensure cases of MPOX do not escalate. After confirming its first two cases this Sunday, days after Zambia reported a case, while variants of the cases are yet to be identified, it was detected in people who had traveled to Tanzania and South Africa. Zimbabwean authorities say they are tightening surveillance at all ports of entry in the face of this development. We have two cases. Case number one is a 11 year old male child with a known history of having traveled to South Africa in August 2024, returning to Zimbabwe on the 10th of September 2024. He developed symptoms on the 23rd of September. He is currently in isolation at home and is no longer infectious. Seven contacts have since been identified and are being monitored. The second case is a 24-year-old male with a known history of having traveled to Tanzania on the 14th of September. While surveillance has been enhanced at the port of entries, the biggest question is how will authorities manage the porous border entries used by undocumented travelers. Zimbabwe faces a mammoth task to ensure cases do not escalate, and the authorities insist all is under control. Health and Child Care wishes to reassure the public that the situation is under control and urges Zimbabweans, Zimbabwean public not to panic. Any persons with symptoms are urged to report to the nearest health facility as soon as possible. The World Health Organization declared MPOX a global health emergency following an outbreak in the DRC that has since spread to several countries. Nearly 30,000 suspected cases have been reported in Africa this year, with more than 800 deaths. It's another big challenge for Zimbabwe that needs more resources now to avoid the situation getting out of hand. Is the country ready? For the 10 Prime, I am Miri Ryan Singh. We are now joined by Jimmy Wilford, a public health expert, to discuss further the implications of Zimbabwe's first two MPOX cases. Jimmy, good evening to you. Now, if you could just tell us, now that the country has confirmed cases of MPOX, where do we go from here? Well, uh, firstly, as a country, we need not to panic. Uh, this was bound to happen. Um, MPOX was a long declared a public health issue of concern by WHO and uh, Zimbabwe is part of the global village and given that we are part of the global village it was bound to happen that the MPOX was going to come to Zimbabwe. Now that we have got two cases, firstly we need not to panic as a country, secondly we need to strengthen our um, uh, surveillance and thirdly we need also to look at how are we going to be packaging our information dissemination. Uh, the general public need to be given proper information so that they can make informed decisions and they can take informed actions. If there is some elements of um, misinformation, that can cause a disaster and unnecessary panic. So now, Jimmy, how do you rate the level of awareness in the community? Currently, the Knowledge level is very difficult to measure and possibly to answer properly whether the community now knows or not. But given that we now have two cases, it's now closer to home. In the past, it was more like it's them, not us. Now it's part of us. It's now within us. And we now have those confirmed two cases. We are now going to use what is happening starting from last evening and to measure whether the community now knows uh, with uh, the symptoms, now knows what needs to be done, etc. I will continuously emphasize for the community to uh, positively react and in a way that is preventive, in a way that is going to also minimize the spread of MPOX, we are going to ensure that there is supposed to be a systematic way of health literacy 
information dissemination within the same community so that they are able to, uh, to complement what is being happening, what is being done by the government. And of course now we do have to ask how prepared is our health care system to manage the disease in the event that it does escalate? I'm sure you're quite aware that our health system is currently compromised as a country and for us to expect the, our health system to be prepared for MPOX, we'll be expecting too much. So I'm encouraged also possibly by the uh, statement that was released by the Ministry of Health and Child Care yesterday in terms of uh, uh, when they were announcing the two cases, uh, they were giving us a little bit of hope, but uh, our health system is compromised in terms of the uh, human capital, the financing, the equipments. Equipment here, we're talking about uh, our capacity to, to do surveillance, um, hopefully our, um, uh, our department that is supposed to be doing the surveillance uh, is, is, is well equipped and well prepared. But uh, in a way, generally, our health system is compromised as a country. That is a fact. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Bazetian Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.